Welcome to this week's Quick Charge. In the Bible, God reveals himself as the transparent one. He has a transparent quality. When Jesus ascended the mountain with his disciples and he was transfigured before them, the Bible says in Matthew 17, 2, that his appearance underwent a change in their presence and his face shone clear and bright like the sun and his clothing became as white as light. He became see-through. They saw what was really within him, which was pure and unadulterated light. And that light was truth. He became transparent with nothing dark, suspicious, or deceptive. This is why God's quality of transparency is so important for us because God's transparency makes it safe for us. As we learned last week, it makes it safe for us to hope again, but it also makes it safe for us to trust again. Once more, the operative word is again. Trusting again is always a great challenge because it implies something has interrupted or broken our trust once. It's ruined it once already with some bad experience and it's normal and a natural reaction. In Israel's day in Judges chapter 20, they faced a foe that happened to be one of their own kin. And in verse number 18, the Bible says they inquired of God, should we go out against them? And God said, go. That day they lost 22,000 men. That was a bad experience. Then they returned, and in verse 23, they inquired a second time, saying to God, are you sure? Again, the Lord said, go. That day, they lost 18,000 more men, another bad experience. But surprisingly, in verse 25, they're worshiping. They're still worshiping. And as they come before the Lord again, God says, go. Amazingly, they're still coming before God and seeking him and still worshiping because many never return after a bad experience. They never come back to trust again after just one bad experience. Real trust in God is trusting him enough to trust his purposes, his ways, his means, his instruments, and his people. It can be tough for God to persuade us to trust again. But David was a master at trusting again a second time. He trusted his God enough to trust his own father again after a bad experience at home, to trust his own king again, the one who was his authority, after a bad experience to trust his own wife again after a bad experience in their relationship. After a bad experience, we may have little to no trust in men or women, parents, children, family, spouses, our bosses, leaders, pastors, churches, fellow believers, or even just people in general but it's always safe to trust God again, no matter what. I can always trust God once more because it's safe. Almost 30 years ago, my wife was a passenger in an automobile in the UK where she was involved in a major traffic accident where she was severely injured with the effects of that crash still lingering to this day. It was a Sunday evening after a church meeting where we both had been worshiping and honoring our Lord, serving, helping, encouraging, strengthening others in the church, then suddenly it came without warning. What were we to make of that? How do you handle that? Well, the supreme test is, will I trust again? And what of Job's remarkable words? Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. That's how safe we are when we need to trust again. Do you need to trust God again? 
Now is the time. Now is your time. Join me next week for another quick charge. God bless.